All right, uh, I definitely need to get rid of some problem with my machine here. So my noise is uh, adding only in the negative direction and I wanted to add equally everywhere. So um, there's also another problem I believe with the noise source. Let me get rid of this. Let's just look at the noise by itself. I believe there's a DC component to it. Oops, I didn't want to move that one. I wanted to move this one. Yeah, I think there's like a DC component that I want to filter out. So I've been looking at other noise sources and a lot of times, I think, I guess almost all the time, they uh, they do AC couple it and they basically put in a high pass filter to roll off you know, anything below 100 hertz or something like that, uh, like maybe an 80 hertz filter to get rid of that DC component. So yeah, so let's do that today. I think that's the first thing. And uh, all we have to do is add a capacitor. I think we'll start with a, um, I think we'll start with a 0.1 or maybe a one microfarad. Yeah, maybe a one microfarad is probably better. Um, 10 microfarads might be, well, uh, I'll keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. What do I have here? 47, that's too much. Let's try a 0.1 just to see what happens. I think that's a good, a good experiment. Let's see here. Uh, trying to figure out if we can just kind of bodge this in for a second. Let's see, this is all of the, uh, no, I can't pull them out one by one. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's just solder in a point one and see what happens. All right, so I have some noise there. You can hear it. Let me get rid of this. Let me, uh, let me put it on DC. You can see what the DC looks like. Uh, I just short the capacitor out here for a second. Oh. There you can see those kind of uh, DC reference to ground. Let me, I don't th bump, this, uh, bump this up a bit. You can see it's kind of going around ground. Now if I AC couple it, it, it comes up. Um, that's a 47 microfarad. Let me put in a, a 0.1 microfarad. That sounds a little nicer too. It's kind of moved up. It's moved, removed a little bit more of the DC component. If you can hear that. And then let me, let me put in a 0 0.01 because that was really interesting. And now that I say it, I can't find the capacitor. Let me grab one here. I've got a lot of those. So this acts as a uh, low, uh, a high pass filter. It gets rid of more lows. And if you hear that one, and then hear this one, they're a little bit different in tone. And uh, let, me leave, let me leave this one in because it's killing more of the, the DC. Oops. Shoot. I'm trying to just jam it in a hole in the PC board and it's not cooperating. There we go. All right, so let's uh, kind of back out a bit here. Let's add some. Other tone to it. Let me just turn off the volume so you don't have to hear it. Uh, yeah, let's add some of that. And you can see we're kind of getting a little more, not exactly what I wanted, but I think it's going to sound interesting. And that's all we care about is the sound. So yeah, it's better with a capacitor. And I think I like this capacitor the best right now, but I think in the final product, it would be interesting maybe to have an area where you could uh, put different filters. Um, I don't know if it makes that big of a difference, maybe just load different filter, load different capacitors, but I'll definitely add one to the uh, to the design. Let's go ahead and uh, try some sounds here. Let's try some triangle.
I might be clipping a little bit there. Yeah, interesting. Like I said, the uh, using the uh, noise is going to sound different when you put it through filters. I thought I'd also talk about this custom cable I made. Uh, this is a, uh, a one by three. This is a two by three. And um, you can buy these kits uh, on uh, eBay, AliExpress, whatever. Um, they are, let's see, I'll turn it around here. You get these kits, you get little, you get the connectors and you get all the little blocks. So this like, this is a two by, a two by five. And this is a uh, two by six. Um, this one is a uh, one by two. So you just get these uh, blocks and then you just crimp, crimp a connector on and then these connectors slide into the uh, plastic pieces and all holds together. Now, you can't assemble these without a tool though. You have to buy, you have to buy a crimping tool. Um, and at first glance, you say, oh, that's going to be really, really expensive. I think these are only like 20 bucks or something. They're not bad at all. And they're made really, really well. Um, and it comes uh, three different three different crimp sizes. These, these here use the small one, but you can also crimp bigger connectors as well. Um, and they, uh, they crimp, 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 crimp. You keep squeezing it until it finally squeezes all the way. And then it releases. Um, so anyway, something to look out for, uh, makes making, uh, custom cable assemblies really good. I use uh, 28 gauge wire when I do that.